going to tell you the most dangerous thing that women do. And you do it every morning. And you actually take this processing power and this gray matter power and the power to harness this frequency and you actually unconsciously turn it against yourself. And it's called pattern formatting. Right? It's called pattern formatting. And what this means is that every day you take a photograph of your body, of your face, of your image. An average man in a month will take 151 mental images of himself. An average female will take a million 360. When you get ready in the morning, you don't stand four feet from the mirror. You stand two inches from the mirror. And it's not important enough to be two inches from the mirror. You got to have a mirror that's concave so it amplifies what you're seeing two inches from your face. When was the last time you met somebody and went like this? It's really nice to see you. Is that a new pore on the upside down of your nose? My goodness, I never noticed that eyelash that's dipping 13 degrees to the left. But it's great to see you. So what happens during the day is you have the last recorded image of your face. You record and store your imperfections. And you are thinking of your imperfections while you are communicating with other people. Now, when you think about your imperfections and you're communicating a message to another human being, do you think that you're emanating the frequency of authenticity? No. Because your mind is somewhere else. Now, you're so good at processing, the other person doesn't notice this. But that little roll over the top of your belt, the nails that have grown out too far and left a little space behind the cuticle, the, the pimple that nobody else can see. Right? I, my fiance wakes up in the morning. She goes, babe, my face is a mess. I go, what, what part of it? Like, I can't. What's a mess? Look at this right here. I'm like, I'll get the convex mirror out here. I can't see it. Right? And so you're recording that. You're thinking about that while you're communicating with another person. And it interrupts the frequency.